Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Surviving Mars at the Maximum Difficulty. Guys, we're doing pretty well for ourselves right now. Looking fine on most of our production lines, we have a medium dome, our population is absolutely exploding, to the point where I'm a little bit concerned that we're overdoing it, and maybe we shouldn't allow any births in the medium dome for a bit. I mean, we can kind of control it a little bit in the medical center, but this many births is too many. It's too many. I don't have enough uh, infrastructure to handle this many children's. So we're going to have to deal with some of that at some point. Uh, once our farm is up and running over here with its uh, soil quality, which actually will happen as soon as these cover crops are done, I might actually get rid of this farm since I don't think we're going to need that much food production to keep up. And we may place down a second school because uh, we have we have too many children's. Simply too many children's for me to handle all this right now. We are going to have to do a massive reorganization of this entire area in general, I do believe. For example, over in this dome, we need to make sure that pretty much only a non-specialized can live here. I mean, maybe maybe that's a little bit overly ambitious. I don't know. We got 16 in here. That's actually my entire population. Sure, maybe we could do this for now. This will end up being my um, education dome with the university. Right, and that way we are ensuring that we're training as many of these non-specialized as possible. And we're going to go ahead and open up another shift to try and train a lot of them up quickly, but yeah. Our population's grown so fast, we just, we have to find a way to keep up. But the good news is, production-wise, we're doing just fine. As long as we don't screw up, I think we're going to end up being A-OK. -okay. All right, well, let's see. We've got a meteor storm going on right now. we got some seniors. We aren't killing fast enough. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. We have 12 seniors in, I'm oh, sorry, 12 co seniors capacity in here and only 11 in total in the base. So let's go ahead and just try to weed them off real quick and get my population down to something a bit more manageable. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 and, and and then we have to decide, do we want to go ahead and activate the story bit, the cipher? I don't know if this is going to be the uh, special mystery event. I was trying really hard not to spoil that for me. I haven't even read comments for people to tell me because I'm terrified you guys are going to spoil it because you guys like to do those things and prove how smart you are, and I know how smart you are, so don't worry about it. But I haven't read up on that, so I suspect that's what it's going to do. It just... It just makes sense, right? A strange message on a probe on the surface of Mars? Maybe? Anyway, so we have to decide if that's something we want to do. And maybe we do. Um, if we're feeling really good on our production line and stuff, maybe we want to do exactly that. Are there any more resources I can be gathering off of the surface of the planet? Yes, there's a few more metals and stuff. We are deep scanning the world now, so uh, as time goes on, we'll be unveiling some of the best deposits available. We haven't got all the tech we need to extract it, but we have, uh, at least we know where it is. So at some point we'll be able to. By the way, always make sure that you don't have your two command rovers together. I had to go repair this one, haha. -ha. But uh, if you're not careful and they both get hit by an electro and static dust storm, well then what, what the heck am I gonna do? I mean, in this case, they're close enough I can send a drone out here, but like, if they did that on the opposite side of the map, I'd be screwed, dude. I wouldn't want that at all. We got so much fuel coming in, it's actually somewhat ridiculous. I mean, I'm not unhappy about it, but it's, it's a lot. Why was this water tower completely out of water? That's a great question. It's a great question. I'm not sure that I have the answer on that one. Uh, we're not using up pretty much any water during the night, so we should be automatically filling them back up, which is the reason I'm not worrying about it. I look at the large towers here, and I know I'm draining some during the day, but we fill it so fast during the night that overall it ends up still being enough water, so we've got enough water vaporators to do all this. I see that meteor. Boom, way down there. The good news is meteor storms tend to, like, follow a pattern. That is to say, they cluster and then, like, travel in a direction, so as long as we're not in the line of fire to get cluster bombed, I think we'll end up being A-OK. -okay. All right, so how are we doing on them seniors? There's still 11 of them, and they're not dead yet. Why aren't you dead yet? I probably should get the meteor defense system, because meteors, at least until we have a significant atmosphere, will be a major threat for a while. And as we discovered in the last uh, episode, the wrong meteor hitting a fuel tank can make a lot of things go boom. Oops, we learned these things the hard way, right? So, oops. Colonists are Earthsick. It's a senior. The senior's gonna go to Earth soon enough and in a body bag. Or, I don't know, maybe going back to Earth Heaven. Whichever you prefer to believe in, I'm not too sure. I'm honestly not even sure it's worth sending rare metals up to Earth anymore. I mean, we can if we want to make some extra cash, but we also do need some of this in order to make our electronics, so maybe not? Then again, maybe we do. Where was that anomaly you guys just talked about? I saw that there was an anomaly. I want an anomaly? 
Anomaly, 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 anomaly! Down over here, hello! Let's make sure that we always get as many of those as we can. Uh, what is this? The monitor shows only static as the rover's GPS tracker shows an error message. We've lost contact with RC Commander number two, caused by a dust storm. Really? So I did just have an electrostatic dust storm start up. I actually kind of forgot about that. I probably should have paid attention to that. You know, this is one of those whole, like, not messing up things I was talking about. RC Commander 2 was over here. It was within view of everybody. How did it disappear? No, like, really, though, how is that actually literally possible? Um, I don't, I don't know. Let's go ahead and turn on the wind turbine. Let's turn back on the water extractor and the battery. We'll probably need to do some quick repairs, but that's why we have some materials sitting over there. As long as this thing doesn't get struck down, we'll be okay. So we'll get this all repaired. I just want to make sure that our water supply is going to be fine because we're, we're kind of draining a lot of it right now very, very rapidly. Lots of water storage, don't get me wrong. We should still be okay, but we can, we can mitigate that at least somewhat. Oh, don't forget, by the way, that last time we also did get things like uh, stem reconstruction, which uh, delays retirement age and death of our colonists. So not only are we going to have a massive birth rate, but people are going to stay healthy and working for a lot longer. Like, I honestly think... We're kind of we're kind of in the clear here. As long as we can survive, whatever the new um, the new mystery event Mars Gate is going to be. Wow, that was kind of scary. But yeah, barring something really truly terribly awful, we should be all right. Mars Gate. Oh frick. Was I wrong? Was the cipher not necessary this whole time? Because it sure sounds like uh, we're we're now having the mystery event, whether I like it or not. All right, here we go. Mars Gate. It came from Earth. We've observed an unknown object on a rapid trajectory from Earth towards Mars. We have contacted our partners back on Earth, but so far have received no insight on this mysterious object. Observations at this level suggest an artificial origin, but flight schedules indicate no inbound science mission. Pester those guys until you shake off some answers. We need to know what the heck they've thrown our way. Oh. So, <laughs> I don't know why I thought this. Um, so there's a few wacky mysteries, I'm pretty sure, in this game, right? Some that have to do with, like, weird light creatures or phenomena or something like that. Something sort of magical, almost. But this is the mystery log right here. Um, I was kind of hoping that Marsgate was going to be, like, you know breaking reality a teleportation device between Earth and Mars, like a Stargate, but Marsgate, so we could actually get more people onto Mars. It's a scandal, isn't it? Like Watergate, Marsgate. It makes a lot more sense now. Right, well, I feel stupid. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Um, sure. Cool, so we're gonna discover some sort of a horrible, horrible scandal. And it's probably going to result in my benefactors back on Earth uh, trying to shut me up. And I'm going to get under attack, which is, by the way, all the more reason we should probably stop with these and go ahead and start researching the meteor defense system just in case. All right. Well, we're making 1,200 science per soul, so we'll be able to get that pretty quick. All right, what do we got? The lights of a dome illuminate the dust-covered missing rover. Unfortunately, many drones have been damaged beyond repair. Well, there are only two, so it's not that bad. It has suffered a critical malfunction. We have no idea how it teleported from amongst our domes over here. We need to send drones to repair it. Well, I would like to do that. How did we lose a drone with this guy? We had five. One has been destroyed. Five drones have been destroyed. This guy had two. How were five destroyed? No. Several back home have been destroyed. What? How dare all of you? OBKB. Um, well, that, that does complicate things a little bit. So we gotta go repair this so we can just get it back. But, um, I don't have enough drones anymore. And I am, uh, we'll say concerned. We'll say a little bit concerned. So what I may want to do then is go back to Earth. Let's just go ahead and get some money. Oh, right, we can't during dust storms. I forgot about that. Crap. Uh, I was going to say, maybe we should go back to Earth and we should order some more drones. Because it looks like we're going to need them. Missing rover. The repairs are complete. Our rover's lights and telemetry bring uh, spring to life. The rover is up and running once more. Its sensors have captured a ton of data on the dust storms and the most extreme conditions. We get 5,000 more science. Dude. That was an unexpected boon. Me take. I like it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know what Mars Gate is going to throw my way. I'm a little concerned. You know, getting the Meteor Defense System with an extra 5,000 science right now is actually pretty fortuitous. I like that. Might make it easier to defend myself. Uh, we are full on polymers over here? Wow. We should have more storage. I don't know why this is the case. It's just because we don't have enough drones. That's why. 
Uh, let's go ahead and salvage this. And I don't even think we need to rebuild that, to be honest. I think the power networks are already set up, so we're okay. Except for this. This isn't built, but there we go. Okay, and how are we doing on water? Still fine. Yeah, we're going to be all right on the electrostatic dust storm. That's no issue. I do think we go back to Earth with some more rare metals. I do think we bring back a load more drones. The alternative, of course, would be to research uh, how to like build my own drone hubs, like so, uh, which comes with drones on their own, I believe. And also, there should be a research somewhere that I may have neglected. Yeah, there we go. Well, this is the RC Commander starts with extra drones. That's not what I wanted. New automated modes for the explorer and transport. Fun, but not what I was looking for. I thought drone hubs, there was a tech to give them extra drones somewhere. Yeah, if we can't, if we want to build like a drone factory or if we want to uh, start building up our own drone hubs. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Two extra drones. So we should do both of these. And they're actually really cheap. Like th this, yeah, maybe we don't need to order our own. Maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. Another fuel explosion? Well, the good news is it was a tiny amount of fuel, only with the fuel refinery, their own personal stockpiles, that's it. But still, come on, dude, that was like 50 freaking fuel. Okay, we are actually completely out of water, and we're about to be out of power, and also, God, another gigantic fuel explosion. That was so much fuel lost, again, Lord. All right, looks like we're moving on with the event, Marsgate Esso Corp. Mission controls received a direct communique from Esso Corp, one of Earth's largest tech conglomerates. It reads, please be advised that object 6EZ-3 will be operating within a respectful distance of your mission. You are not to approach object 6EZ-3 under any circumstance, under threat of legal and other punitive measures. Nothing further was added and no effort to even mimic adherence to standard protocol guidelines was made. Our Earth partners are giving their best to question Essocorp and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, go get them, Paradox Interactive. Get them. I know you can do it. Why are we still out of power? Well, we only have to survive. Well, no, wait. What's, what's, what's going on here? We should have enough power. Uh, no, it's the moisture vaporators. We only have... The thing is, we ran out of life support here pretty quickly. Our sanity is absolutely taking a nosedive down here because we don't have anywhere near enough power anymore because something broke that really, really should not have broken. I need to have everyone survive just long enough to get to daytime. Then all the solar panels will come back on, which is now. Now we have power. Okay, so no one's going to die. That sucks real bad. Sanity very low as a result of all that. Woof. And also, by the way, notice that children are mostly gone. So we're back down to a reasonable amount of kids. Let's go ahead and allow some births so we can continue to grow our population. We also have a lot of people without jobs. That's interesting. It's because so many people graduated to become youth. We literally don't have enough jobs to go around. Wow. Wow! Okay, well, we'll go ahead and open up some more electronics, I suppose. We're producing an absolute ton of all of those. Uh, we can open up some more in the research lab. I probably will build another research lab, because I think that getting more research when in doubt is almost always a very good decision. Um, where would I want to put it, though? Where do I think I might end up placing another dome? Let's just go ahead and take up this quadrant down over here. I think that will end up being okay. Could place down some more Martian universities and stuff, too, but I think at the moment we're doing okay. We are mostly good on all of our training here, too. Okay, so everything's in the green again. We're going to be fine. I'm running low on metals and concretes and stuff, but once we turn all this back on, I think it'll end up being okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, the meteor defense system is finished researching. We should go ahead and place at least a couple of those to be safe. Uh, is that under infrastructure? Yes. All right, so we want to defend, at the very least, I think, a couple of our domes over here. And then we want to place one up over, I guess, here. Let's defend this approximate area, and then maybe one more to defend up over... I'm terrified to place it next to fuel, if I'm being honest. Um, let's defend a lot of our production and stuff up over here. Okay. So we're building three of those. Is it unnecessary? I don't know yet. But I would rather be safe than sorry. Gosh, I'm actually starting to run out of some serious issues here. Oxygen's pretty low. Uh, I ran out of metals up over here, which means all my moisture vaporators shut down and I didn't have enough water build up. Like, this is starting to get kind of serious here, honestly. 
Pretty nasty. What's this? Mars Gate. Uh, let's see. Object has made an impact on the surface not far from the base. Our readings suggest it is intact and operational. So far, we can deduce it is only patrolling the area as we can't detect sophisticated science instruments from this observation range. The landing, however, was seen by some of our colonists and questions are being raised. Questions we can't, currently can't answer. Our Earth partners have so far fallen short from picking up on any new information and are currently prepared to take the issue to the UN. Well, this doesn't seem good now, does it? No, no, it does not. Only bad things are but sure to befall me. Are we out of housing again? I think we're out of housing again. Good Lord. All right, let's get some more housing taken care of real quick. We could start building apartments. But again, reducing the comfort rating and stuff, I don't know. At some point, I'd rather just go ahead and continue building out some more domes. Okay, we're actually running out of metals very rapidly all of a sudden. Oh, it's because this stuff isn't actually getting repaired. Okay, um, I sent the Mars rover to go and get some metals and bring it down, but now I'm starting to wonder if we have other issues. We don't have enough metals to repair this? Oh, God. All right, drone, can you come over here... We are out of metals over there. Oh, crap. We're out of everything. We're going to run out of oxygen in a minute. Sector scan. Oh, crap. For real. Okay. Um, well. We have money and we have easy solutions to problems. All right. Don't, don't panic. We're okay. First off, let's send this rocket back to Earth. I do have free supply pods for such emergencies. And I'm, that's it? That's all you can carry is 10? Wow. All right. I'm going to spend um, an absurd amount of money and waste one of my free supply pods in order to try and get some fast metals delivered over here. There's the experimental vehicle roaming around, by the way. A little bit scary. Um, we do only have a few hours of oxygen left. And without metals soon, we are actually going to die. Oh, boy. Drone hub is done. We're working on the drone swarm so that when I start building them, we'll be able to get a lot more drones to start off, which will be helpful. Come on, pod. It's on its way. Come on, transport. It's almost... It's picking up some metals. Some very, very, very desperately needed metals. Oh, good lord. Um, okay, we're now out of life support, but the supply pod's almost here. I'm going to say that this has to take a high priority for a repair. Just got to have you guys wait for a little bit. Sanity is going to be pretty low during this. But let's go ahead and launch. Boom. There we go. Got it. And we can also salvage to get a tiny bit more metals out of that. Okay, so the Moxie's going to get fixed. Turn it on during the night, and boom. Okay. Life support is back up and a-running. You know how I said we need to make sure we don't screw up? This is how we're getting, we know we're getting really close. We're getting really shockingly close to screwing up. Don't do it, Provis. Don't screw it up. <laughs> we're this close to a victory in a maximum difficulty 1,075% run. Don't screw it up. Okay, with Drone Swarm done, let's go ahead and work on the Cypher, since apparently I was able to do this the whole time. It's only going to take me like a soul in a few hours, so let's just go ahead and get that out of the way and see if it gets me anything exciting. Um, okay, work bonuses, I mean, it's nice. Is it what I want? Don't care about the applicants, don't think I care about some of this. Storages and stuff is nice, if only it protect, uh, sorry, protected my, um, protected my uh, fuel from exploding. That would have been nice. Shuttle hubs. We haven't bothered with any of those yet. More food yields. I think we're still okay on that. We haven't even done the rejuvenation treatment. Arcology. Lots of living space. It is comfortable living space, but is it what I want? Um... I think we want resilient architecture, so out-of-dome buildings require less maintenance, which means uh, it will save me a lot of metals as well as many other important things. And by the way, if we're making way more um, power than I need, uh, at some point it may be worth just going ahead and closing down as many of these solar panels as possible and rely instead upon these wind turbines. I used to not want them, but now I'm kind of wondering if I do, you know? Maybe that is the way to go. We don't have enough metals to even build out these darn lasers. That's part of the problem we're having. And some of my metals are actually being taken up down over here. With a little stockpile I had just in case I had to repair all of these. Which it's looking like might be a mistake. Let's go ahead and turn these off, by the way. No reason to waste anything on them. How are we doing this ramp? Uh, we're actively we're actively getting the ramp eventually. It's just taken for freaking ever. Um... Yeah, yeah, we, we got we got issues. This still hasn't been repaired. All right. 
So I'm gathering some more metals and stuff with my transport, but what we should definitely be doing is getting some machine parts and moving them down over here. Because it looks like I'm not repairing the source of metals that I kind of need. I need... Okay, first off, no fuel allowed here. No need for... Uh, we can have rare metals, I suppose. But I need machine parts. Where's a freaking hapless drone? What are you doing? There's a homeless person wandering outside. That's concerning. Wow, we're full again? Oh my god, we already have so many children. Oh my god, it just keeps going. Okay, uh, more living complexes. Actually, not there. Just in case I end up placing a dome off in the corner somewhere over here. More living complexes. We're going to have to start moving to apartments whether I like it or not. Actually, that would reduce the birth rate. Perfect. Let's build some apartment complexes. I need so much more housing. Ah! For the record, by the way, I'm now making about 1,700 science per soul, thanks to having three fully worked research labs. Granted, they don't have all the right jobs, but I mean, we got, we got a lot of homeless people and people who don't have things to do, so... Gotta keep this going somehow. Um, could open up some additional jobs in a few places. How about some more security jobs just to be safe over there since we know we have lots of renegades? None over here, shockingly, so we'll go ahead and cancel that up. One over here, which is not that bad, and none over here. I We could actually cancel a lot of these security stations. All the renegades have moved over to this area, which is interesting. No, by the way, we have 59 middle-aged people, no seniors at all. Freaking ridiculous, dude. Also, I'm noticing my food is starting to go down as the population goes up, so let's grab des uh, gene adaptation after resilient architecture. That way, we can get some uh, additional food yields in some of these farms. At some point, it might even be worth building a dedicated farming biome, or dome, sorry, and set up a water reclamation spire, which is usually a very efficient way of doing things. However, the only problem with that, of course, is that uh, we actually benefit from having farms spread out in the residential areas, so I'm not very heavily incentivized to do that. Still, it is an option. Let's make sure these things get turned on uh, just in case we need it. And where are you? You're actively gathering up some more metals. Where are you? No, that's the wrong one. Where are you? You've got 45 more metals on the way. Fantastic. I did move a few more machine parts down over here, so now we're producing a bit more out of the metals extractor. We're running low on concrete. Apparently, we are not producing anywhere near enough over here. Uh, we did just finish the cipher, so what do we get? A treasure hunt? It's a map! After quite the hassle with the strange coding, your scientists managed to decode the message from the strange pod. It's a map. New planetary anomaly discovered. X marks the spot. Oh, well, that's exciting. Um, it's not that one, because I'm already on the way. Where is the anomaly? You, sp you promised me an anomaly, and I don't see an anomaly. It's got to be here somewhere, though, right? You promised. Oh, that's because it's a planetary anomaly. Right, we'd have to use our transport three citizens and who knows what we would get out of it. Something awesome, I have no doubt. Um, I still kind of need my transport, so I'm not sure that I really want to do any of that right now, but uh, at some point that could be nice. That rover is still exploring. Something bad is going to happen. You all know that something really bad is definitely going to happen. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what it is, though. You know, I gotta use another challenge besides rampant overpopulation. We have a rocket back on Earth. I'm gonna go ahead and buy myself some more drones to make up for some of what we lost. Wow, we really, we really are spending a lot of money on this, aren't we? Let's get some more metals and some more concrete. Um, I don't think I need any prefabs at this point. I think we're fine. We could buy another. Uh, we could buy ourselves another uh, RC machine, but I don't think that's worth it. Is it really worth spending that much money on concrete and metals? I would rather just invest in properly building that at home. Let's just get the drones, because I think that's all I need. I am building a couple more drone hubs in a few key areas, which should greatly expand how much I can handle. Also, so by simply placing a drone hub down over here, we're future-proofing in case we need a dome down this way, and also we can access a second set of metals. Of course, at some point, though, we want to access this deep metal deposit with another 1,500. Gonna be a while before I can exploit that, though. Okay, we have a cold wave on the way. Good news is we know how to handle all that. Got a few more drones about to pop up over here, and the extra drone hub down over here is making a huge difference to improve the efficiency of our metals extractors and so on. Uh, did this experimental vehicle just land here? There are four of them. Uh-oh. Something, um... Something's happening here! There are four of your vehicles here, and I don't know why! And it concerns me! It concerns me greatly! 
Um, we need to assign a drone or two off to this right here. And then pack you up and go save my transport, since apparently that got hit by a dust storm or something with 20 metals, which obviously I need. We're having some trouble with concrete, but I think now that this is set up, we should be able to start producing a lot faster. So we're going to be okay on that front. Um, yeah. Oh, one broke down. Here comes a fifth one. Oh, my. Yeah, so something, something is definitely happening. I did not uh, authorize this. I did not consent. Oh, boy. They're setting up for a freaking military invasion, aren't they? <gasps> Are we about to turn Mars into a military invaded territory? Well, that's why I've got lasers. Don't come near me. I can shoot your rockets down. I'll do it. I'm a donkey on the edge. Oh, here we go. Silent invasion. We detect and monitor four more objects as they parachute down and make landfall. Yeah, duly noted. They are totally silent about this second batch of what we believe to be some sort of surveying rovers. More colonists have witnessed the landings and are openly concerned about what they perceive to be an invasion. Panic! Oh wait, we're supposed to calm them down. All right, all of you calm down and give me the space that I need to properly panic. Thank you kindly. 17 available jobs right now? Good Lord. What do I even need? I would say let's go ahead and open up more machine part and other sorts of extractions and stuff, but until we get more um, rare metals and other things set up, I'm not sure how much good that's going to do me. Let's go ahead and amplify this thing here, by the way. I don't know what else to produce with these people, aside from a buttload of science. That's kind of the only thing I've been doing up to this point is, when in doubt, science it up. And it's been working pretty nicely so far. 2.1 thousand science coming in. We're working on that resilient architecture as quickly as we can. Going to continue working down some other very useful technologies, but there's more to get, of course. Could actually go and talk to some of these people and ask if we want to possibly trade some tech. We would give them STEM reconstruction in exchange for supportive community. No, 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 no. STEM reconstruction from live from our... Absolutely useless to me. No, 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 no. STEM reconstruction for support... You know what? You all are a bunch of hippies and I hate you. I'm going to hold on to my technological advantage and I'm not going to share a dang thing. Okay? Okay. Um, let's keep in mind we're about to have some very serious power and water issues. Something we may want to do is set up another subsurface heater specifically to protect um, the big medium dome because that's going to consume a lot from me if we do not do that. This one we already proved to still be protected, so I guess I don't have to worry too much about it. What I should probably do is make sure we increase our production enough to protect things like these water vaporators, as well as the polymer factory and this dome. And to that extent, I'm thinking that this down here is probably going to be the best location. Sure. And let's make sure we set up some piping, because of course we want to do that. We don't want to turn it on right away. Oh gosh, dang it. This thing is just going to be annoying, isn't it? Fine, we'll go ahead and set up over this way. There we go. I am concerned about whether or not we'll have enough water. I think we will, quote-unquote, but it's going to be close. This thing consumes one water, I do believe. Let's make sure we also turn this back on just before, leaving enough time to repair. We'll have to rearrange everything because we're still not completely out of the woods when it comes to cold waves. Let's go ahead and pull our drones back. Let's make sure my transport is still gathering up whatever metals he can and bring those on back home. There's nine more up here, for example. Let's go ahead and gather, I assume they're up in this direction. Gather some metals and bring it back, dang it. This is actually where having this ramp completed would be nice, but we're getting very close. All right, so Mars Gate is clearly about to turn into something truly awful. We have 150 pops to work with. More jobs than I, uh, more unemployed people than I know what to do with. We're going to have to expand out another dome at some point relatively soon. But if I can't drastically increase my production of such things as concrete and metals, and water, by the way, we're not going to be able to do much here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and change a couple of these things up, and we're going to start focusing on the techs we would need. Where are they? In order to extract deep water as well as the metal deposits. We also will have power issues soon-ish going forward. So let's make sure we also soon research the nuclear fusion. Those are some jobs people can work outside the domes. And that would make sure that I am future-proofed for a good, good long while. Alright, well thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.